seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Clifton versus Little. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Good, Good day, day, Your Honor. Miss Clifton, you say the defendant, Mr. Little, stopped paying for your twins after finding out another man was also providing money. Yes, Your Honor. Now you say you are seeking the results of a paternity test to prove he's their father and to get him to pay up once again. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Little, you argue that when Miss Clifton's twins were four months old, you learned another man had claimed them as his own. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you say she's all about the money. Yes. And she's not getting any more from you. Correct, Your Honor. Miss Clifton. Please tell the court, why do you have multiple men supporting your children? Your Honor, I'm a full-time nursing student. I work 19 hours a week, and I get paid $7.25 an hour. I have three children. My oldest boy plays football. I need help. If I can't do it for the kids, if they need something. If I can't do it, I ask Mr. Little. If Mr. Little can't do it, somebody still got to do it. But do the other men think they're the father? No, ma'am, absolutely not. The other men, this is the thing. You trying to like me, you trying to come into my life, you say you want to be with me. I'm not an ugly person. You're liking me. If you like me, show me. Prove it to me. Me and my kids need some help. So if you like me, I'd like that you would help me then. So that's the thing well, about the Well, then, you cut to the quick on that, but Mr. Little, <laughs> you think these other men think they're the father of Correct, the Your Honor. kids as well. Correct, Your Honor. Now, me and Shanti, we met a few years ago, and we ended up spending a lot of time together as me being her. Personal mechanic. Um, oh, a personal mechanic. Yes, ma'am. She was looking for a vehicle, and I was helping her search for a good vehicle. So we spent a lot of time back and forth looking for cars. So you really are a car mechanic? Yes, ma'am. OK. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. We ended up, you know, getting together, whatever the case may have been. And, you know, time went on. So Miss, Miss Clifton came to me and asked me. She was like, OK, Sam, uh, you know, I. You glossed over that a little bit. I, I want to go back and get these facts. Yes, ma'am. You're looking for a car, then you end up getting together. Yes, Your Honor, correct. What does that mean? We had sex, Your Honor. So in this process of looking for a car, you end up having sex... Yes, Your Honor. ...with Miss Clifton. That has never happened when I was looking for a car. Miss <laughs> Clifton, you I had you. sex with the man when you were looking for your car? Uh, Judge Lake, this is the thing. A, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, I was, I was looking for a vehicle. She told me, I know a place that you can go. The mechanic there, um, he's nice, good to look at. He'll probably work on your car for a little or nothing. He's supposed when to be single. When she said you need a good mechanic, didn't she mean just in your Rolodex, not in your bed? <laughs> yes, in my Rolodex. But it, ta it takes two. I didn't proposition him for sex. It takes two. Now, we engaged together, but upon dealing with this man, he awesome to me. He was a good man. He, he was about his business. I was like, this is husband material. I feel like I had hit the jackpot when I met him. Why did it end? Well, he Your lied. Honor, he, he lied and led me on. He led me to believe that he was single and that he was all for me. Thanksgiving, he was at my house. I made a joke to him, like, what would you do if I got pregnant? Just joking. And he was like, you can't do that. And I'm like, why? He said, because my wife would divorce me. A wife? Oh! oh. I'm like, well, what is that? When did you get well, one of them? Wait a minute now, Mr. Little. Now you had... A wife this whole time? Well, you were her personal mechanic? Yes, Your Honor, but the thing is, the thing is, me and my wife were separated at the time. She actually broke it off with me instantly then. And you didn't see him anymore? Um, only to get my car worked on. I still kept no, him as my... No, no, Your Honor. I still kept him no, as Your my Honor. noted and trusted mechanic because he's the only person that knows my car. Why no, would Your I go Honor. somewhere else? I can still pay you. I, oh. I pay you for services, so I can still pay Your you Honor, for Ms. services. Miss Miss Ms. Clifton, Ms. Clifton, she actually came to my job, then immediately... She probably propositioned me for sex. Okay. I wait, now, wait a minute. I what happened now, Miss Clifton? He had been working on my car. We, we separated for about two years. Mm -hmm. I had started um, dating someone else. Um, at the time, he had did some work on my car. That it was costly. It was a lot. I said, baby, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting right now. I said, this is all I got. This is all I got. I, I, really, I said, matter of fact, my exact words is, I really need to keep my money. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, and he was like, well, you know what time it is. Judge, Mr. Judge. Little. That's, that's not true. That's not true. Yes, it is. That's not yes, true. it is. You traded yes, is. car services for yes, bedroom services? No, ma'am. No, Your Honor. Do you ever pay for your car repairs? Absolutely she didn't not. get a car repair, Your Honor. She just got rid of estimate that day. I'm coming to pay him this day for what he had done to my car. I left with my car and I left pregnant. Oh. And I left with my so money. So you're saying that was the day you got pregnant? Absolutely. After that day that we had sex, I hadn't seen Miss Clifton for, I hadn't talked to her, you know, in about a month. She calls me, I think I'm pregnant. 
I didn't question her. I didn't say, uh, is it mine or why are you calling me? Immediately, because I, I've known her in the past and I know she's not the one to even play like that. So, yes, I was like, okay, but well, she's pregnant, okay, cool. I guess we're having a kid. At that point, you accepted yes, that you were the father. Oh. Yes, Your Honor. When did you start doubting it? I get a, a random text from her texting this other guy about how much she loved him, care for him, want to be with him, and uh, I appreciate everything you do for the kids. And I'm like, wow. It came to you. The text came to me. And she was sending it to another guy with his name on it. This text set you off. You, Honor, where, where, you? you have proof of this text? Yes, yes, ma'am. OK, oh. Your Honor, after I got the text, uh -huh. like I say, maybe a day or so went by, I never confronted her that I had gotten the text. I asked her, have they been together? She said, yes. He Did thinks he think you, you were pregnant? pregnant by him. OK. okay. So she said Don't lie, he, thought, you told he thought it was a possibility. Why would he think it was a possibility? But she told me before they hadn't been together six months prior to me and her getting together. He thought it was a possibility he was that's, their that's, that's father. That's correct, Your Honor. After that, well, that's when I started having doubt. that's sounding like doubt to me, Miss Clifton. I mean, you tell the man that this other man that's helping you thought it was a possibility that he was the twin's father. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You tell the man that this other man that's helping you thought it was a possibility that he was the twin's father. He, know, he knows about Mr. Little. He knows they Mr. Little children. He knows that they are not his. This man knows that. But Mr. I Little don't, is but upset. I don't know him, Your Honor. You don't, you don't got to know him. You don't got to. You don't have to. Okay. I don't know his wife. Okay, Your Honor. I don't know if she knows about my kids. Okay, my, Your Honor. My concern is Hold the children. On, let me stay on one subject at a time. I'm going to get to that. So, after you get this text, you begin to think to yourself, why would he think it would be a possibility? But you tell me they're mine, but you tell me, no, they're not his. But after I text you, you tell me, yes, uh, he thinks it's a possibility. Why would he think that if you all hadn't been together previous, previous before me and her? So, does this other man, does he know the children, have a relationship with them, too? He has a relationship with me. And he'll come, he'll come to see me. My kids and are the there. Kids, my Honor. kids are all, my kids are always with me. I'm a real mom, a real stand-up mom. My kids are always with me. If I'm ain't at work or school where I'm at all day from nine to five trying to provide for me and his kids, then I'm at home with my children. One night he came and brought me some money. I asked him a little for some things for the kids. Okay, Your Honor. I, no, it's my turn. I asked him on a Thursday. He didn't come till Sunday that's, to bring. That, he didn't come says, till Your Sunday Honor. to bring the kids I brought, items. I texted him on Thursday said the kids need milk and diapers. And I brought little, and I brought he, them that on, night. No, at he alive. He came on Sunday. He brought a little um, 50 pack of diapers. A 50 for, pack. A 50 for, pack. Of, a pack. He for brought. A, he brought. A, exactly. Your Honor, and when I, he set it down, he set it down on the big case that somebody had brought for me. They had like 172 in there. He set it down on top of that big case. He said his little package for his. Okay, okay. Bottom line was, you you say you're doing your best to take care of these kids. That's correct. At the point that you get this text do stuff. and you start thinking somebody else could be the father of... Then you start doing That's zero. Correct, you were, you okay. were doing 25%, then you start doing zero. Okay, Your Honor, this, he feels this, some this, kind this of way thing. because another man might help me. Well, okay. he got to realize in life that I'm, I'm going to no, start I dating. No, he's feeling what? some kind of way because you text him that he that thought, he thought after it was he... a possibility he was their father. Reason you think yes, this ma'am, yes, your honor. Okay. Other man could be the father okay. of the twins. She sent me a text one night and she said the kids have no pampers, no milk. I leave my shop, leave, go to Walmart, buy a big box of pampers, 50 packs, and two big containers of <laughs> milk, and take them to her house. By the time I get to her house, it's, it's maybe like 12, 12 30 a.m. Okay, I'll, I walk to the, I got my car, walk to the door, I ring the doorbell. So I ring the doorbell again, and I'm waiting, and it's kind of odd because she always comes to the door because I have open door policy, she says. Okay, so I'm waiting. And he does. She opens he does, because she, she, she don't got nothing going on. I don't have a she man. Opens, I don't have nothing going on, so why can't he come? I walk, I walk in. I see the twins. So I set Pembers in the milk down, and I go to play with the twins. I'm playing with the twins. I see some random guy walk out of the back, walk past me, and goes out the door. Yep. She never even acknowledged, oh, okay, yep. Sam, this so-and-so, or so-and-so, this is Sam, my baby father, or whatever case may be. She never said nothing. So I play with the kid for a few minutes, because I don't know what he's feeling, because I don't know what he's thinking. So I leave. Man he I leave out. Though. He, was he, he didn't say anything. Only thing she said to me was, I, I wish you would have called, called first. Called so me. who was the man? A friend of mine. And I can have friends. I'm 27 years old. I can that have she friends. never introduced us, uh, us two. Do I know your wife? I wait, Clinton, Do so I know your wife? Wait, wait, wait. You had a friend over. Yes, ma'am. On Thursday, on Thursday when I asked with the little for the stuff. That he, brought pampers and milk. Can sure. I, is it my turn? Is it my turn? 
On Thursday, when I asked Mr. Little for the stuff, he didn't bring the items. Me and my children went out of town that Friday, went to Atlanta. When we came back, now they for real need some more items, because we done been out of town. That's when I tested Little, said, look, they zero. They without. They don't got nothing. And I, told, I, I said, the I said, I said when I asked you night. on Thursday, I said, then I said, I guess you don't care nothing about your kids. I told you two days ago they was without, they need something. So I'm trying to see what he gonna do. He never responded back. That's not true, I called, That's I not called true. two friends of mine. I reached out to a guy on Facebook. This guy is handicapped, walks with a walker, uh, a walker and everything. I reached out to him. I said, hey, how you doing? Um, my back against the wall right now. Me and my children ain't got no milk and they ain't got no diapers. Can you help me out? He on said, Facebook, yes. On Facebook, you had to reach out to a man that, that said, ask seen... for milk and diapers? Yes, and I, have, I haven't seen this yes. man in a year and a half. And I reached out to this guy because he's real nice. It was always good to me back in the day. So I reached out to him. That man so came over out, instant. Wait, wait, wait. You reached stuff. out on Facebook in desperation or did you lead this man on and kind of flirt and say hello in like remember me? No, in, de in desperation because Correct me and the man, me and the man knew each other from back in the day. Like I said, the man handicapped. So we ain't never had sex or nothing like that, but he's always liked me. My son is 10. When my son was six, that man used to come and take him back and forth to football, practice, wait, and stuff like that. this is what I'm trying to understand. You reach out to this man because you knew he liked you and, and you needed help. money. So yeah. you basically reached out to use him for the money? I, not to use him, but to get some help from him. I, I might reach out to you, Judge, if we ain't got nothing. I'm going to reach out to the, to the guy. If my kids need something, I'm reaching and out. And when you reach out to me, it's you will hear no. me say, don't have no kids you can't afford to take care of. Absolutely. So Absolutely. that you stop to be on social media. So you have to be on social media asking people, can they help you with your kids all around town? That's why if you reach out to me, you're going to get the real truth. Okay. Now, I'm and listening and to your you. story, and, and I'm you. trying to understand that's where you're coming you. from. But every other line out of your mouth that I'm hearing is, because if I can't do it and he can't do it, it's somebody got to do it. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, somebody else doesn't have to do it. The two individuals that made the baby got to do it. And that's why I'm here today. That's why I'm here, to get some help from the other individual. So that's why I hold on. Okay, look, look, look. You said you was going to reach out to me, so I had to reach out and touch you with that information. You brought a witness. Stand up, ma'am. I would love to hear from you. Yes, Please yes. step to the podium. State your name for the court. My name is Karan Clifton. Ashanti is my daughter. Hello, ma'am. What would you like to add? What do you know about this situation? Well, first of all, my daughter is self-sufficient. She's mm -hmm. always worked and gone to school, and I'm very proud of her. Sam started out being a proud father, and I think jealousy raised his ugly head, which made him stop. You know, I taught my daughter to be self-sufficient. And if you, if one won't, the other one will. When he stopped doing what he was going to do, he left her and I to do what we are duty-bound to do. And that's raise them beautiful twins. Your, and his old long head, no, I've them always, his children. I've always take, take so care what of you're twins. saying is because he got jealous that no, she was Honor. dating other people, mm -hmm. the level of support he yes, was giving in the situation yes, began to dwindle. The minute level. And then that led yes, you and your daughter to have to ask outside people to help with the kids because he wasn't. But see, he'd go home to the missus every night like it's all right. So what she's supposed to do, sit there and be a hermit, uh, be a recluse and not have anyone you know, in her life? Be, be, Is that what you're saying? It has nothing to do with my responsibility with my kids. Nothing and, at all. And me, I've, and always taken, I've always taken care, I've always taken care of my kids. Listen, Until Mr. Down. Little, I'm trying to understand the Clifton's position. And you admitted to it in part. You said until you saw this other man in the picture, you were stepping up to the plate. Yes, Your Honor. And then when you realized he was there and thought that he possibly could be the father, yes, Your Honor. you began to back off. Correct, Your Honor. Now, you made another true statement. Regardless of the fact that you're married, you signed the birth certificate so legally by law. They That's know. what the, the, the law considers you. Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor he because, because I... Because Your Honor, I Your Honor, what is I, that I, you're holding up there? These are the birth certificates. Jerome, I incurred three infections at the hospital having his kids. I almost lost my life. I had to be in the hospital for a week. Mr. Little came and got me out of my sick bed and said, my children have to have my last name, especially my boys. And so he, he took me down there to the place where we had to get it done, paid the money for the birth certificates, paid money to expedite it. He paid an extra $30 to expedite this so it could be done ASAP. I just need to ask you this straight out because you at least it. talked about three different men that you have and you say they help right. you. Is there any other man no, that could potentially be no, the children's father? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, All right, it's so, Jerome, one. with that said, I'm ready for the results. Yeah. 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 Sam, I want to say I love you, Sam. You know I do.
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Clifton versus Little, mm -hmm. as it pertains to six-month-old twins, King and Kalani Little, mm -hmm. Mr. Little, you are uh, not. Not. Oh. not. not. I can't believe that. Are not. I thought for sure. What are you thinking? I don't know, because to be honest with you, I actually thought they were. I did too. To be honest with you. Miss Clifton? I have to ask you again, is there any other man? Like I said, that was a month before me and Mr. Little. I was pregnant, I was with Mr. Little. Uh, since then, I've been with Mr. Little. Now that you know he is not their father, first of all, you've got to let their real father know that they are his. And then you've got to expect and require of him that he help you take care of those children. Absolutely. But I will say this to you. Yes, ma'am. Pretty only goes so far. And thank God In I don't life. use my... Thank God I don't and, use and, my... And listen. Use. No, God, no, no. Use. You told me that you have been using it, but what I want you to do is use it the right way. Yes, ma'am. The next time a man looks at you and says, if you need help, you can either pay me one way with mm -hmm. your check or pay me another way with your body, you're a strong, beautiful woman. If you made the money and you have the money to pay for your car repairs, Pay for them with your money and not your body. And you want like to be in this court to today. Like I have court is adjourned. I'm shocked, kind of hurt, but you know, life goes on. That's why. That's why I came here. I wanted to know. I wanted to be sure. I'm shocked. I, I, I thought that he was their father. I've been uh, seeking this man as their father, and I thought that he was. I, I'm shocked. I can't believe that it happened.